And our fourth contender, please. Your name, please. Philip Warmby. Occupation. Oh, no. It's clerical officer. <laughs> Number 20 is Toshihiro Kaiwa of Japan. And thankfully we made it again. Monsieur Le Bleu. Well, now, as that cyclist proved, there's no point asking for divine intervention when it's not your day. TV directors may be able to move mountains, divert rivers, even get Oliver Reed out of the studio bar, but there's nothing they can do when confronted with something as simple as an attack of the wind. Have we got any cocktails? <laughs> Don't you like him at all? Not just a team. <laughs> I have everything I need. <laughs> Master Mullins? Or do you have a new one? Come on, I'm bored. <laughs> yeah. I really just came to say, um... through no fault of her own. With a bit of foresight, of course, they could have had a couple of BBC technicians on hand. They're marvellous at propping up bars. <laughs> now, foresight has never been the BBC's strong suit. That's why they've set up a special department called Forward Planning. The head of Forward Planning was going to be here with us tonight, but due to unforeseen circumstances, he just couldn't make it. <laughs> he, did, he did predict that they wouldn't laugh at that. <laughs> anyway, we've put together a few clips that'll make his hair curl. Some choice examples of when just a little attention to detail would have made all the difference. Different game now, Bill, isn't it? A leg spinner getting through... all those on Hello. the ground... I thought we might be in trouble with uh, the public address. Please video. remember to ah, retain... I've got a little picture to show you. <laughs> 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 it might seem like the ideal place to be. As much food as you can possibly... <laughs> Please give the professor my best. I'll make sure that he knows about it. And thanks so much, sir, for having us. We'll be right out. It's dinner time. Let's go. How are things at the bank? Heard anything about your promotion? Not yet. But I'm definitely on the short list. I've been invited to the company. <laughs> In the years that followed, many of those who worked on her conversion for war were to lose their jobs as the British ship industry hit troubled times. And when the nation... <laughs> next went... Was my single I should be so lucky number one in Great Britain okay and if you answer that correct that correctly you will win a Kylie L LP and a Kylie video and the question is in which year was I should be so lucky a number one hit single for Kylie in 1985 <laughs> 
sure you're beginning to realize there's something strange about the people who make television programs. They can make the simplest of things look difficult. They're fine when they're recreating the Battle of Agincourt with 5,000 extras and a castle to demolish, but you give them something easy, like walking through a door, boy, can they make a crisis out of a drama. There's an old saying in show business, as one door opens, another one closes. Sometimes, you're lucky if the damn things move at all. <laughs> the door. <laughs> <laughs> he is, however, more intelligent than he seems, and he is, we mustn't forget, Her Majesty's Secretary of State for Foreign Affairs. Something for nothing, laddie. We won't roll over and play dead. Got it? <laughs> <laughs>